Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. February jobs report is particularly positive for rental housing. The February jobs report was strong, with total non-farm perils up 311,000 jobs, about 50% higher than expected. However, one particularly important detail of the monthly jobs report hasn't caught most eyes. The employment rate of adult workers without a high school diploma rose 45.5%. Not only is that up 1.6 percentage points from January, it is also the highest rate on record since the Bureau of Labor Statistics began reporting it in early 1992. The increase in employment for this particular group is important for two reasons. First, they are one of the vulnerable groups whose employment prospects are an early warning for the entire labor market, in other words, this jump is particularly good news for all workers, and second, they are some of the best employment opportunities for people without a high school diploma in the construction industry. Finally, the construction industry was among the strongest performers in February's jobs report, with total employment up 24,000 jobs. The construction industry and the real estate industry in general is not monolithic. Unfortunately, part of that, the market for single-family homes built for sale, has collapsed. In fact, the February perils for non-deposit origination and loan origination-related activities were two of the worst segments of the overall labor market in February, as about 9,800 jobs were lost for every 100 employees. Data from other sources confirm the slump in the home-based market. On the one hand, single-family houses usually make up about three-fifths of the residential units under construction. In January, however, single-family homes accounted for just 44% of housing construction activity. Second, home prices fell 2.7% in the last half of 2022 and are still extraordinarily high at a median of $363,100, while mortgage rates are down 0.64% over the past five weeks on average 6.73% for a 30-year fixed-rate mortgage. A large proportion of those who can afford it are already